Let's draw some basic boxes in one point perspective. You'll need a sheet of paper, a ruler, a pencil, and an eraser. For this, I'm using a 2B pencil. To get started, we are going to draw a horizontal horizon line dividing our paper into two sections. This represents where the sky meets the ground, and truly it can be anywhere that you want. Sometimes people want more of the ground showing and less sky. Sometimes people want more sky showing and less ground. But a lot of times for just these basic boxes, I usually go somewhere in the middle. Now you can certainly measure your paper. So mine is eight inches, so I can put a little dash at the four. And then when I draw my line, I can get in the center. So after you have your horizon line in, you'll want to put your vanishing point on the horizon line. We only need one vanishing point because this is one point perspective, and it can go anywhere on the horizon line that you want it to. But oftentimes I put it about in the center for these basic boxes and just getting started. So now what you'll do is you're going to take your ruler and you'll draw some squares and rectangles, and they can go above the horizon line, on the horizon line, or below the horizon line. So let's go ahead and start that. They can really be any size that you want. It's just nice to use a straight edge to make sure that they are indeed straight. I like to try different size boxes and some are more cube-like. So one above, we can go, we'll go one on the horizon line. And then it's nice to try some closer to the vanishing point, further away from the vanishing point. Overlapping is good practice too. And sometimes, so I'll show you this, sometimes when I'm not measuring, I'll get, I call them little tails that stick out. You can just erase those. And this brings up a good point that it's nice to draw light with perspective because you will be doing quite a bit of erasing. You'll notice too, the horizon line goes through this one. You can certainly erase the horizon line now, or you can wait till later. Now this would determine if the object is transparent or not. If it's transparent, you might see a line going through. But in this case, we're going to imagine it's opaque or solid and we do not see the horizon line. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a few more, you know, maybe trying one that's taller. And this one is going to be closer to the vanishing point than this one. And then maybe we'll put one in this far corner here. All right, so I've got five shapes on here that I can now make look dimensional by drawing converging lines back to this vanishing point. So we're gonna use our ruler to do this and you'll see pretty quickly that many of the boxes you'll draw three converging lines, but some of the boxes you'll only see two. So we'll see that come together here. So what you'll do, go ahead and you can start with any corner that you want, but the key is to line that up to the vanishing point and then with your pencil, draw a nice light line. Keep these light because you will do some erasing. And then you'll go ahead and repeat that on each side that will show. And so what I mean by that, like this corner, for example, if I line my ruler up, you'll notice it goes directly through that shape. So that indicates that I wouldn't put a line there. Now this one, because it it's a little to the left of the vanishing point, right? If I hold my ruler up there, you can see there's some space between this edge and the vanishing point, but it's going to be pretty slim because of how close it is to the vanishing point. So that's why it's good to just try different areas on your page so you can see what that looks like. So let's go ahead and draw all the converging lines back to the vanishing point, and then we'll talk about how to trim them up. Now this one, you're going to notice something a little bit different. So we'll bring the obvious sides back. But what you'll see is these two sides, either way, would be, would cut through our shape. So we know we don't want to bring those back. So the important thing to note is when you have a shape that's directly over the horizon line, you will only see one side of it. 
Whereas these shapes up here, these forms, we are going to be able to see a bottom and a side on each of these. And then down here, we'll be able to see a top and a side. So let's go ahead and make that a little bit more visible by trimming these up. So with your ruler, we're going to be making some parallel lines and we're only going to be making vertical or horizontal lines. That's the most important thing to keep in mind. So what I like to do, you can decide how big you want these forms as well, but I like to find that first horizontal line I made and then just simply slide my ruler down. And then once you pick that point where you want it to go, draw the line. Now I have a point right here where I'm going to make a vertical line. And it's easy to kick this one out to an angle. I see that often. So it can be helpful to place this along the edge, that vertical line, and then extend it, drag it out, make sure it's vertical, and then draw that going up. And then from here, you'll be able to erase those lines that extend down to the vanishing point and you'll have your box. It's okay to clean that up a little bit. Sometimes I find I might have to redraw something and always line that ruler back up and redraw those lines. And then we'll go ahead and repeat that process for the rest of these. This side over here, we're only going to draw one line, it's vertical, and we're going to extend that back as far as we want it to go. I might have that one go back kind of far. And then this is where I would go ahead and erase the converging lines outside of the form, but then I would erase the horizon line inside the form. If needed, you can always redraw your horizon line if you want to uh, see that a little bit more, if you erase some of it. And then the other thing, let's go ahead and just draw what would happen if we had some overlap, because these are all spaced out separately. So what happens if maybe we have a form over here and it's going to go run into this one? So starting by just creating a shape, something like this. Then I would bring back the points or bring back those lines to the vanishing point. And then this one is going to be a little bit different. We're going to overlap just a touch. So what I'll start doing is drawing the line. And when I reach the form, I stop and I can then continue on the other side, depending on how big I want this one to be. And now we have a little overlap happening. So then I can, of course, trim this one up. You know, maybe I want this one to go a little bit further back. Draw that horizontal line. And then you've got this vertical line. And then I can erase the lines going back to that vanishing point. And those are some boxes in one point perspective.